My name's Craig Thomas and I'm Head of Health and Phys Ed here at uh, St. Stephen's in Karama and I have Ben, Serian and Sienna here to uh, help me have a little bit of a talk about the Athlete Development Program which we run here in Year 7s and Year 8. Firstly, the, the Athlete Development Program was put together because we felt that we can help students juggle their training and their schoolwork and add a little bit in that they maybe don't get with their clubs. We know that clubs do a fantastic job, but we wanted to add a little bit more to it and hopefully give them experiences and exposure to some professional training. So I'll start with Ben. Um, what sport are you playing at the moment, Ben? And, and do you want to give us a little bit of an idea about your background and getting into the ADP? Well, yes, yeah, so I've done a bit of swimming over the years. I've swum around the Boston Jetty once in a team. And um, yeah, I've been doing a little bit of parkour on Tuesdays and Fridays. Sure. And, and Sarah, what about your sporting background? What are you currently playing at the moment? Um, so I do netball and um, I play for Hamzy Netball Club. And um, so I've been in the regional netball, like for, it's called WDNA TACT. Um, so it's Talented Athletes and Coaches Training. Um, and then we got put into the Super Region, um, which is like the whole of June Lup and WDNA. And um, so some... So on addition to like club training and games on Saturdays, um, a couple of times last term and that I was like training seven days a week, um, just like doing full on training and that. Yeah, fantastic. So a busy girl after school. Yeah. <laughs> Sienna? Yeah, it's the same as Sarah and I've been doing netball, tact and that and I also do basketball, which I've gotten to the state champs, which... Um, it was really fun and I enjoyed doing that. So busy bunch of students you are on top of all your schoolwork. So from our end, we're trying to structure the program to, to give you some extra exposure and take a little bit of pressure off you, you know, partnering with Athletic Institute and, and going out to West Perth football training facility, um, you know, doing some nutrition and, and also the mental skills training. What, what's been the best part of it for you, Ben? What have you enjoyed the most of, over the last year and a half? Uh, probably going to um, the HBF arena, um, the stadium there, doing some of the circuits around that place. Fantastic. And Sarah, what have you enjoyed most? Um, my favourite is probably when we did like nutrition um, a couple of terms ago and um, like we learned about what foods we should be having like before and after games and trainings and like how we need to look after ourselves. I thought that was like really helpful in that. So. Yeah, and did you cook any meals or did you learn how to make some meals? Yeah, I learned. Yeah, I used some of them still like before and Fantastic. training and that. Yeah. Yeah. So what sort of food would you um, I really enjoyed when we made the milkshakes, like those banana milkshakes and that, and um, I have them after training and games every time. So, yeah. Fantastic. And Sienna? Oh, yeah, I like going down to the HBF um, in the gym and to uh, challenge myself to really push and try to get better in my own sports as well, trying to bring what we've done in the gym into my sport. So the selection process to get them to the ADP, we go around and invite all of the year sixes to apply for it, and there's a criteria that, that you need to be... Um, meeting to do it so certainly we want people that are enthusiastic about the sport as you guys have have indicated and also need to be really positive about the fact that you need to juggle and, and being willing to to take that on and know that it's a little bit extra and because we want you to do well both at your sport and your school continue to work academically as well and that's a really important criteria that we that we have in regards to being select uh, selected and being successful in getting into the program so I suppose one of the things we we'd like to know has it been beneficial and would you recommend it to our year six students who very shortly will have the opportunity to apply yeah if they're really into their sport and they really want to improve and by physically and mentally trying to get through then ADP is really going to help them yeah I think it's just really helpful for like when you're first coming to high school as well it just shows you how to like work through your sport and schooling and just like really helps you so yeah I would recommend it have you given some thought, Ben, to what you would love to do in the future and, and maybe how ADP is helping you work towards that? Yeah, well, I mean, I'm next year I'm going to swim around the Bustle and Jetty again solo this time and hopefully somewhere in the future I'll be swimming in a team to Rottnest. So, yeah, that'll be, that'll be fun. So, Ren, what's your big dream? Um, I really want to play for the Diamonds um, when I'm older and also for the fever. I think that the ADP has like really helped me f like visualise what you'll have to do to train for the Diamonds and for the fever and also help like get me stronger and that I'm ready for the Metro trials when they come. Sienna, yeah, I want to go for um, fever and Diamonds and also try to go for states. And as Sarian said, Metro trials are coming up. So really the ADP has really helped me with trying to get my dream closer to where I want to be. Fantastic. Well, thanks, guys. Uh, and if anyone else would like more information about the program or any of the other programs at St. Stephen's, head along to our website, www.stephens.wa.edu.au.
Thanks for listening.